what do you mean in your dog what 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 do you mean what do you mean i'm sorry i'm so sorry i don't understand it's not computing that's not cute we're we're like that's not cute at all <laughs> not cute at all um so that tacked off a whole star hello 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 i'm a little hippie and today i'm gonna be filming a vlog let's just call it a vlog <laughs> so it is currently like 5 5 in the morning and i just got in from a run and i'm about to do a little bit of stretching and get ready for work but currently i am reading gianna darlings caution to the wind it is the sixth book in a series in an eight book series i believe but um you don't have to read them in order um they are standalone books that are best enjoyed when read in order but i'm not doing that this was the one that caught my eye so this is the one that i'm reading i'm on page 85 and yeah i plan on reading some more today and i'll just be updating periodically to tell you how i feel you like this this time so i'm having a crisis okay i've read uh half hold on let me see i don't know how this is gonna work but i've read half of this book i'm gonna put it on the screen caution to the wind yeah caution to the wind and it's so good and i'm having one of those um crises where i'm like reading all these good books at once because this makes three four star reads well one five star four star and then this four star read in a row and i don't know what to do about that um because that's just such a it's so overwhelming you know reading things that you enjoy back to back to back like that I hold it like this yeah so but i'm on my 15 minute walk um, from work and I go back in in a few minutes and I just needed to reflect because I'm enjoying this book so much I've got book mail let's open it might possibly have bought another book in the Fallen Men series. I did and I started it and I might possibly be more than halfway through with it. <laughs> so yeah and i also may possibly have an amazon truck right outside of my house delivering uh my copy of the fallen men caution to the wind the one i just read and i'm gonna open it with you as soon as the delivery person 
leaves. I'm back with mail. So let's open it. I ended up ordering two more books in this series. I ordered the one I'm reading currently, which is Welcome to the Bad Side, or The Bad Side, what am I, 12? Welcome to the Dark Side, which is the second book in the Fallen Men series. Oh yay, there's paper. And then I ordered Dead Man Walking, which uh, is, I don't know what number it is, but and here it is here he is caution to the wind it's so big and beautiful and so floppy i love that so anyway yeah i've got those next two coming i don't know if i'm still going to be filming this vlog by the time they get here but one of them I do know for sure is going to be in my August wrap up. So you'll see it then. And that one is going to be Welcome to the Dark Side because that's the one I'm reading currently and I'm pretty much almost done with it. But yeah, um, this one though, Welcome to the Dark Side, is definitely not as good as um, Caution to the Wind. This one is going, is it's, it, you see, how can I say this? There's a very thin line between age gap romance and um, perversion, let's just say. And Zeus is treading really close, really close to the perversion side of that very thin line. Because why is this man saying he's been fantasizing about her for years? What does that mean? She's literally 17. What does that mean? And the last time you saw her, like the first time he saw her as like a mature 17 year old, like someone who's legal was like months. So what do you mean years? What do you mean in your dog? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't understand. It's not computing. That's not cute. We're, we're like, that's not cute at all. <laughs> not cute at all um so that tacked off a whole star so it, there's like no chance of this ever even being four stars because too many times as I've been listening to this I've just been cringing and being like what does that mean what are you saying literally what are you saying right now what are you saying and I just, I don't know, it just feels weird, but I'm almost done with it. So I'm going to finish it. And obviously I'm going to have it on my shelf. Um, but it's a very stark contrast with how I'm feeling about this one versus how I was feeling as I was reading Caution to the Wind, because Caution to the Wind, <sighs> that had me melting down the wall, kicking my feet sweating you know all the good things tingling all the good things all the good things because that was actually age gap romance like a very deep age gap romance done properly where it didn't feel creepy because he didn't even acknowledge her like when she was a child um axe man did it well henning henning didn't even acknowledge may when she was a child he really truly was like a father figure to her and that's how it was between them and never did he mention being attracted to her when she was young maybe when she was 17 when she's you know full grown and she's matured as the bible would say she's past the flower of her age um yes that's fine that like there's there's nothing weird about that i don't think but when we're talking about you've been wanting to you've been fantasizing about her for years and you've known her since she was seven and she's 17 now what does that mean dude and it's like because you could take it to the point where he's like oh he's talking about you know when she's you know when she's pubescent or whatever and it's like yeah but they she was tr maybe maybe I don't know hopefully I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna believe I'm just gonna believe the best in the situation and that's what he's talking about he's talking about that you know when she's old enough and all that all that sort of stuff but whatever but the book is pretty
and I like pretty things. Okay, bye. Hi, it's me. I'm back to close the video out. Uh, I actually ended up finishing uh, uh, finishing this one today. Um, Welcome to the Dark Side. It's book number two in the Fallen Men series. And let me tell you, it was terrible. Like, I didn't rate it on Goodreads because it was that bad. And I, and I, as I often do, I went to Goodreads or went to Amazon to look at the reviews and look at all the one-star reviews because I'm like, I cannot be the only one. And I wasn't. Although people didn't seem as upset about, people were upset about other things. And I'm over here upset about the fact that this man is talking about, I've been fantasizing about doing this to you for years. And he's talking about a 17 year old whom he's only met twice. Okay, once in her teenagehood as a 17 year old. And then the last time he ever saw her was when she was seven years old she was seven um so that was weird uh to say the least so i gave that like zero stars out of five if i could give it negative 10 i would give it negative 10. it was trash it was bad and to top off that like that was enough for me to like rate this book really bad but then the writing do you want to know how many times this book mentions the word Yeah, it mentions that word for a grand total of 997 times. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. I do 97 times. <laughs> do you know? Oh, you know how horrible that is? Like every other word is this, mother, that, fucking this. Like, I'm like, yo. Like, I don't know if maybe... G Gianna darling doesn't know how to write men without having them drop an f-bomb every other word but apparently she doesn't and it does like I don't know if nobody has ever told her but it doesn't sound cool it doesn't sound manly it doesn't sound macho it just sounds like a five-year-old that just learned the word and is saying it non-stop that is how children curse okay because they've just discovered this new fun four-letter word that they've never heard before please please um so yeah that's in this vlog i ended up reading two books and against my better judgment i did go and start another book in this fallen men series because look Caution to the Wind was so good. I gave Caution to the Wind 4.5 stars. Like, I don't think you understand. It was so much better than um, Welcome to the Dark Side. So much better than that. Um, so I am now reading Dead Man Walking, which is number six in the series. And I'm liking that a little bit better. I'm liking it a lot better than uh, Welcome to the Dark Side because the heroine is 20 years old. I'm, I don't know how old uh, the hero or the dark hero um, priest is, but it's not some huge crazy age gap. Um, so yeah, and I will be doing reviews on each of these books. So worry not, those will be coming soon, probably in the next couple weeks. But until then, that's going to be it, folks. Um, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good evening. And most importantly, I hope you read a good book. And I hope you never, ever, never, please never, never, ever, never, ever, never pick up Welcome to the Dark Side. Please don't do that. Save yourself the trouble. I read it so you don't have to, okay? Bye.